guys this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet and we are back with the Thanksgiving event that is the first one that they have so far now at first when I went through this in the last episode I was starting to have a few issues with this because it was making it seem like we could only use the golden corn now for the first mission that does appear to be true however on the second mission when I went in here, let me show you here real quick. If you go to Fresh Fish Pie, it says travel to Mudwater River, catch Black Bullhead. It says nothing about that. And if I put these in its place, it doesn't seem to change. Now, when I did switch it with something else, like, uh, let me just pick one here. Uh, we'll, we'll pick dough balls just to give an example here. Now we're going to take a look back at fresh fish pie. Now it says use a telescopic rod with golden corn. Didn't say that before. Now that makes me wonder if I can catch these guys with just regular corn on that second mission. Now I don't know if subsequent missions are going to be like that, but let me go ahead and put that back in there and see if it changes here I'm just gonna use regular corn not the golden corn go back to the mission fresh fish pie track mission travel to Mudwater River catch black bullhead yep that says nothing about it having to be golden corn now the fresh frying pan specifically says that so again in order to get that I have to make sure that's installed but that might help us if it's going to be the case throughout this I'm going to have to test it a little bit here I haven't tr really tested it just yet but I am going to go back here to Lone Star before I go back to Mudwater there's something else I wanted to do too I wanted to go ahead and maybe try to set up another telescopic rod just so that I can increase my odds here a little bit let me see, I've got the Tomahawk, which was one from a previous event, and I've already got it all set up here just the way I want it. We'll pull this one over here, and I'm going to go ahead and get that set up just right, and I'll bring you back, guys. Alright, guys, I am back. I went ahead and set up my Caesar. That gives me about a 10-pound test rod everything else is close to that but again this is not only to increase my odds but also it's another test they basically told me to equip a rod they didn't tell me that I had to use it they just told me I had to equip it with golden corn didn't say I had to fish it with it we'll see I'm just checking here all I, I mean basically technically speaking I've got it equipped so I'm just I'm just trying to see if I could bend the rules a little bit here if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but you know, trying to figure this out because I did find out um, after going back offline that you can't go back to these corn stalks and get more golden corn. That's all the golden corn you can get. That is the only thing that they have done in this entire event is they've made the golden corn very hard to get. I don't understand that, because unlike the Halloween one, you can go back every day and get more stuff. Plus, they don't have any, like, special lures. They don't have any bent fish. So, 
I don't know. This is... I think this... This has potential as a good event. I think they just seem like they rushed it out a little bit. That's just maybe my opinion. But they could have done it a little bit better. I, you know, honest opinion. I don't. I like to speak out against Fishing Planet because I am. They are sponsoring me, but let me go ahead and check and see what the missions say here. Now, right now it says, okay, let's go ahead and do the fish frying pan again. Track it. Catch smallmouth buffalo. Now I've got the right one on my hook. Let me switch it to seven. See if it says it again. If it does. <laughs> okay, guys, I have. It just says catch smallmouth buffalo. It does not say anything. It does not say anything about it being golden corn. I've got this equipped. Holy crap, it could work. It could work. I've got to test it. I've got to test it. That looks probably look kind of stupid with a 23 foot rod walking in front of me. But. Yeah, and another thing I had found out I have not used telescopic rods in a very, very long time. So I've been using the. Typical casting method for a very long time also. I completely and utterly forgot that you can switch casting methods using F11. I just, because I don't. I, I never do it. Here's the golden corn. So nothing's changing. Okay, we are not in a peak here, so let's go ahead and forward time a little bit. We're going to see what just what happens. It may be that these guys are going to be better to caught at night. Oh, shoot. I forgot to switch it. F11. Huh? There we go. Now we can cast it right where we want it to go. And that, my friends, is right in the hole. You can tell because it's sit sitting there straight up and down. Now, I might be able to go ahead and set up a rod out here, but I haven't tried a rod pod outside this fence before. But, it's been a while since I've been after smallmouth buffalo. And again, this is not my usual spot to go after them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Let me see if I can set a rod pot out here. I don't know that I can. With this. Yeah, I can. We didn't. Through the fence yet. That's kind of cool. Alright. Let's throw this one out here. Like I said, all I had to do was equip one. I'm going to test bottom rods too, just to see. And if this works, I'm just going to lose my ever loving mind, but it'll be great. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put a. We'll use regular corn for this as well. Wait a minute. Oh, on the wrong hooks. Four. And corn. So that's... Hey guys, I just wanted to let you all know that Christmas is coming, and I just recently became a partner with the Fishing Planet store, and I'm going to be advertising a number of items that they have online that you can check out and if you use my promo code that I'm going to be popping up here on the screen you can get up to a 10% discount plus there's a lot of items here guys I mean you've got the tackle you've got 
all kinds of new arrivals coming every day. I've got a number of caps I'm going to probably be giving away in the near future and a number of other items that I'm going to be showing off as the time progresses towards Christmas. But if you guys do put in that promo code, it will help me and it will help you. Now first and foremost, what can we say about the Fishing Planet gear? They have some amazing tackle here guys a couple of rods I'd love to be able to get and I'm going to as soon as I possibly can but right now they've got them on discount plus you can get the 10% discount counted onto this no matter how many you get guys can't beat that and in addition to that you've got all kinds of gear guys check this out the caps you got cups you've got glasses that are double layered like this one here for drinking and you've got shot glasses you get two of those when you purchase these and like I said earlier I will be giving away a number of caps how you win these caps will be determined in a later video guys so anyway please check out the fishing planet store online and I will pop up a link to that here as well as my promo code Christmas is coming guys. We need to get on this quickly because it's going to be here before we know it. Anyway, we're going to go right back to the video. There we go. Let's see what this is. It's a young channel. Wow, they were getting bites like crazy here. Okay. Well, we just found out that that does. We just found out that does not work. But we did get one. It was worth a try. Hang on it. <laughs> We can't use that kind of rod for sure. So I don't know about this one yet. I'm going to go ahead and put that down there just in case. Then we'll toss out the one that probably we're going to end up having to use, but we'll see. Yeah, we do have 15 more golden corn, but that's only because I had actually broke down and purchased it. It is expensive. 12 bait coins. I hope to goodness that it works with the other one. If it doesn't, there it is. We are screwballed, that's for sure. There's a small muff of them. All right. Yeah, like I said, I do apologize for forgetting about that. You know, I've been playing this game a long time, but... There's some things I haven't done for a long, long time either, and I have actually not fished much here in a very long time either. So you forget. And I have done that. And apparently the bread that we're supposed to bring is the bread we use for bait. They didn't say that. Now did they? <laughs> so we got to go back to the cauldron. And see what we can do about completing our first mission. Yeah, if you come here, it says something like, see you next year or something like that. That. It's ridiculous. If you're doing great, get the dish. Alright. Thanksgiving dish, fish frying pan, item is placed in your backpack. Alright. And that is actually all we need to do with Lone Star. And you can't do anything with Lone Star. According to this, let's see. Okay, we're going to go back to the missions. I'm trying to decide if I should just go on to... Yeah, I think what I might do is just go on to Emerald Lake. I think that's the next on the list. Let me see. Thanksgiving dinner. There are fish called stuffed carps. Stuffed carps? Is Lesney Vila on here? 
Well, let's leave and we'll find out. Got a little bit of cash out of that. I would have thought it would only be American fisheries that we'd be going to. No, yeah, looks like there's a couple others we're going to. Tiber River, La Civila, and Ghent Snoozen. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving there. <laughs> That's strictly an American holiday like the 4th of July. I don't know. Well, well, we'll check it out. Maybe this is where the next one. It's going to be a lot cheaper to travel here than it is going to be the Emerald Lake. That's for shizzle. Alright, let's see. New private room. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to bring out, but... Guess it did by default. Okay, so we're looking for event related stuff. I would say it's probably over nearby this gazebo. That's my guess. Yep, I was right. Actually, that's the house, not the gazebo. Let's cook a delicious dish stuffed carps. Get the mission. Alright, stuffed carps. 1500, one baked coin. Have you had carp stuffed with mushrooms, or carp with thyme, or carp with... Even naming all these dishes make your mouth water. So catch a couple of large carps and stuff them nicely. I've always wanted to try stuffed carp, honestly. Ooh, there's a mushroom. Ah! That, I didn't know we could pick those special things up. I wonder what they're for. Wish you a harvest of happiness and season of thankfulness. You found more golden corn. See, it says stay with us for more magic and presents next year. Which kind of sucks, but... Well, I don't know what these mushrooms are about, but I'm collecting them because I have a feeling I'm going to need them or something. Plus the fact that they're everywhere. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Let's see. There's another one. What are the mushrooms for? Where am I putting them anyway? Probably under specials. I did say you're supposed to stuff them with mushrooms. Let me check the mission. Maybe it says I have to... Oh yeah, it does say collect some mushrooms. I have to collect thyme too. Take the fish, mushrooms, and thyme to the cauldron. Okay. So I have to collect that and get five young mirror carp and five young common carp. So I'm supposed to collect the mushrooms. Okay. What does the time look like, though? Mercy, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Let's see, is that time? Yep. Looks like the time is going to be a little bit harder to find. They're just like a white flower. Ah, there it is. Okay, got them all. Alright, where would be the best place to catch these suckers? It just says catch young mirror carp, catch young common carp. Does not say that we have to catch them with anything special. So let me go ahead and change 
these around here real quick. Now let's see if it's changed. No, it's not changed. That could be good. It says catch young, use telescopic god rod with both corn. Didn't change though. See, I still have one with corn on it. Now let me put this off, and let me see if it changes then. Yep, telescopic rod with golden corn. Does not say, though. That's what's making me wonder if I can't catch them with the regular corn. The only way to find out is to test it. That's all we can do. We know we can't use the bottom rods. That won't work. Maybe... We can get away with using regular corn, which we can easily get. Alright. I think I have some markers on here for mirror carp. Let me see. Decorated. No fish data. Leprechaun fish. So, so far, they're just a bad fish. Young Northern Pike. Well, I don't have any marked, so we're just going to fish from here. It's forward time a little bit. So we're going to be testing this, guys. I'm going to be putting two of these rods out. F11. See how far I can cast can't cast out to the marker but I can get pretty close should be deep enough yep plenty deep enough Alright, we got something here. Let's see if this counts, guys. That is a young common carp. And it did not count. Oh, that sucks. It sucks. Yep, it has to be the golden corn. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> It was worth a try. Now let me go ahead and put a marker where let me put a marker where that last one was. That was just a mark of the the hole was. <laughs> So, this is where I caught that one. Hopefully, we won't catch too many non-related species, but yeah, that's definitely going to make this a lot harder to pull off. Because that corn is not cheap. Not at all hard to find and it's not cheap yeah I'm not quite sure I understand where they're going on, on this this has to be 
mistake, but I'm not going to spend 75 of my bait coins to do, you know, to find out for sure. But it says here you can get a golden corn bundle for 75 bait coins, but it's only saying, okay, last time I checked, it said you got 15. That was yesterday. So now it says 225. Okay, that. That makes more sense. That had to be an error. They must have fixed that. So if you're wanting to get enough of these to make this happen, I would suggest, you know, that's a lot of bait coins, but you should win enough during this competition or event to, you know, to get where you need to be. You'll make it back is what I'm trying to say. Let me check the shop. Is the shop still selling them for the same amount? 12 for 15? Yeah. Yeah, they did fix that. So I was getting ready to say that was one I had a major problem with, but it looked like there had to be a bug because they they were they basically had 15 or 5,000 credits, and I was like, that is terrible. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah, they made a mistake. Like I said, I think they might have gotten this out a little too soon, and it's not real polished. They were trying to get it out. They probably should have waited until next year when they got things a little bit more straightened out. And I do think they need to add some lures and some event fish. I think that would, instead of going after just regular fish, not that I mind going after a regular fish, it's just that let's keep it interesting. Use a little imagination. You know, have like a, a turkey fish or something. I don't know. Let's check over here. I think this is where, yeah, this is where I usually fish from, right here. I was like, something's missing. I, I, it was the lily pads. Yeah, I know that's marking an event fish of some kind, but I think this is where I've been catching the carp more often. Let me try this here. Get you anything, I'll be getting more luck. the wrong one. Yeah, I want to try to keep two rods out at a time. I only have four telescopic <laughs> rods, but I have a feeling that would be too much to keep track of. That was definitely a little pike that just jumped. There we go. Wow, he's good size. Holy crap. That went red. There we go. Young mirror carp. 2.110. Alright. We've got that marked. So now we know where that is. What is on their architecture right now? Okay, the uncommon carp, I know that. I think of it as an event fish of some kind. Decorated something or other. Decorated Prussian carp. Okay, the reason I wanted to know is because it tells me that the Prussian carp are over there, which we could end up catching by accident. And that could be problematic. <laughs> All 
Alright, looks like we got number two. Okay, this one's a little bit bigger. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be another common carp, or mirror carp, or common carp here. The common carps. That's one of each. Not bad. Alright, let me go ahead and get this toss back out here. And we are going to have to end this video at this point. So we are running out of time. Oops, it's the second place to that. There we go. There we go. Just somewhere in between there is good enough. So, the only good thing about this particular waterway is that we should have a much better chance of catching five of the young mirror carp, five of the young common carp. The only problem is, is once we catch one or the other, we're probably going to end up having trouble getting the right one. <laughs> because that's the way things usually go. But, now that we have a way of getting the golden corn a little bit easier, that's going to help. But anyway, guys, that is... Make sure I have this right. Anyway, guys, that is the Stuffed Carps mission that we've just started. We've already completed the fish frying pan, and we still have the fresh fish pie to do, but that one we're going to have to go back to Mudwater River, and I'll probably do that and finish it off, hopefully in the next episode. We'll try to finish both of these off if we can. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.